example, the Cleveland Rape Crisis Center says it is getting a surge in calls as sexual assault scandals dominate the headlines. The Now's Jennifer All learned the stories can be a setback for survivors still trying to heal. Jacqueline Fott calls herself a survivor. But becoming a survivor was a long journey with years of healing that was once disrupted when she saw on the news the faces of Amanda Berry, Gina DeJesus and Michelle Knight. The three women who were kidnapped, tortured and held captive by Ariel Castro in his Cleveland home back in 2013. That was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. As it did for Jacqueline, stories like this can trigger PTSD symptoms for those whose wounds are not fully healed. That triggered me into flashbacks at where I lost touch with where I was in the present moment. I started rocking back and forth, uh, trying to hit my head off the table. I couldn't focus. I start looking. When I get triggered, I start looking up to the left, and I can't make eye contact anymore. With the stories of sexual harassment and assault coming out through the Me Too campaign, Sandra Miller with the Cleveland Rape Crisis Center says not all survivors' responses have been positive. We are hearing from a lot of survivors who are feeling empowered by what they are seeing in the news, but we're hearing from just as many who are struggling to cope with uh, what they're thinking about, what they're hearing and what they're seeing. For Jacqueline, she reminds herself that she is safe and loved and to turn off the voices of her younger self. Stopping the shame that played on repeat, you're worthless. You're, you're not worth loving, you'd be better off dead. Eventually, after two years of self-healing, Jacqueline says she was ready to hear the stories of other survivors, which gave her the courage to step forward and tell her story. And that's what this Me Too campaign is all about. Other people having the strength and the courage to step up and say, Me Too, this happened to me too, you're not alone. In Cleveland, I'm Jennifer Ah, reporting for News 5. If you or someone you know is dealing with sexual abuse, you can contact the Cleveland Rape Crisis Center. We've got all the information on our News 5 app.